Welcome back to Veil vale of Death. The Friday the 13th season is starting strong, so let's keep the good times going. Also, you should really binge all the Friday the 13th movies. Really good time. Anyway, let's get into the pod with Chris on Flipping Good Friends, Jelly on Lana's Scooby Snacks, Jay Bread Returns on TikTok Magnus Clock, and I am on Spy Farm, aka Blue Farm. Alright, uh, do we have any pre-games for this Friday the 13th episode? Nope. Alright, well, good luck, have fun, I will start my turn. Come on, Hell Mary. That's an interesting card to draw. Windswept Heath. I'm a crack this baby. Tundra. And while I shuffle, Esper Sentinel. Cool. Draw. Nah, I'll play a Volk. I might as well. I'll play this Chrome Box. I will Chrome draw Box a card. Good. It's fine with me. Uh, I'll under exile this Underworld Breach. And then I'll play a Croc. And I'll pass the turn. And I will draw. Play a Mountain. I'll tap that for an Elixir of Immortality. I will draw. Nice. I accept your donations. There you go. I'm going to play a Misty Rainforest. Crack it now. Go get a drop mob hat. I will draw a card. Scrubland. Check this out. I'm going to snap the Krark. Snappy. <laughs> Untap my two lands. Play Lotus Petal. Crack that bitch for a Timna. Attack Chris for one with Esper Sentinel. I will take one. Post combat main phase, I will pay one to draw one. My hand contains exactly seven cards. I will pass the turn. Cool. Tap, upkeep, draw. Play the mountain. I'll pay two and one for Esper Sentinel to grape shot the Esper Sentinel. How about a fierce guardianship? Wow. Sure. Yeah. I guess at that point, uh, I'll just mock, <laughs> mock, I'll mock salvage the Esper Sentinel since he's an artifact. It has fallen. There we go. Pass there. All right. Do a treasure vault. Unlicensed hearse. Tap the unlicensed hearse, and we'll exile the Esper Sentinel and your fierce guardianship. Yes, Captain. And then with that, I'll pass the turn. In your end step, I'm going to do this spicy play. I'm going to uh -oh. pay two life. I'm going to Noxious Revival my land back to the top of my graveyard, uh, top of my library. Aha! I'm going to draw a card for ten. <laughs> I wonder what <laughs> it is. This mystery card. I'm going to crack that. I'm going to pay two. I'm going to play a Simic Signet. Untap, upkeep, draw. Play this Woodsy Footsies. Crack him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chris, take two. Gain two. Timna trigger post combat main phase. Pay one life. Draw one card. Pass with seven cards in hand. Draw. Play croc again. Uh, spring leaf drop. Pass. Tap. Keep. Draw. Do an emergent zone. Cast Magda. Tap Magda to crew the hearse. Make a treasure token. Death. I'll swing at you for two. Pass the turn. Really calm terms. One. Activate the signet. Let's play. Lannis. I'm going to pass. I'll tap up. Keep. Draw a card. I'm going to play this volcanic island. Attack Jed with the Timna for two. I'll gain two, plus combat main phase, lose one, draw a card, discard. In your end step, I'm going to attempt uh, to cast this Brainstorm, and I have a Croc trigger. We'll see if Croc will let me. Uh, evens oh. will always copy. And it's back to hand. I'll put this Misty Rainforest into my graveyard. Okay, draw. Cast this Jewel Lotus, an extra one, and attempt to play a Sakashima. I have a response with Krakashima on the stack. I will channel Touch the Spirit Realm targeting Krark. I'm gonna float a blue in response. I'm happy to let Krark. Krark is among us. And then I get a Sakashima who comes in for themselves, I guess. With the floating blue, I will cast this brainstorm. Cool. Two. Put that one back. A fairy eye, let's go to my end step and Krark will return. Draw Dwarven Miner. Overcrew. Trigger Magda twice, create two more treasures, go up to three. Now I'll swing at you with the hearse for two. I'll take two. And that will be my turn. Draw a I'm going to attempt to cast a spell seeker. An instant or sorcery. Take a wildly cheer. Also, you're going to make your clue first. I will go to my untap upkeep draw a card. Are you. 
I'll play this plateau. Jed, I'm gonna take you for two yeah. to ten though. Gain two, lose one, draw card. Pass the turn with seven cards in hand. Draw. Pay two life and attempt to get taxi and probe death. Instead of that, I give you a swan song. I will take a swan. I will make a swan in a second. Uh, Croc trigger. Uh, it goes back to hand, so I don't get anything. Float the blue and attempt to vapor snare my Sakashima. Given my luck so far, it's almost certainly going to go. But the spell's going to go back to hand, and I'm not going to get it. There we go. Croc giveth and Croc taketh away. <laughs> you can try again. Going to combat and attacking death for two. Pass the turn. At your insta, I'm going to cast the dress down. ETB, draw a card. I'll untap my creatures with no abilities. Your vanilla dwarf. Draw sphere of resistance. Pass the turn. At the beginning of your end step, dress down will sacrifice itself, unfortunately. And then I will tap both Magda and the dwarf miner to cruelly unlicense hers, make two treasures, and go to five. Mm -hmm. We are living on the edge, boys. I drop. I'm going to have to pass the turn. Um, I'm going to discard a word invention. Untap, upkeep, draw a card, Bloodstained Mire for turn, and I'll crack it. I would like to fetch Underground Sea. I have gathered them all. I have gathered Exodia the Forbidden, Exodia the Forbidden <laughs> One. Exactly. Do I win the game now? I will cast Cabal Ritual. I have eight, nine cards in my graveyard. Even if you exile two, I still have threshold. I'm gonna tap the hearse. Let's get rid of your Lotus Petal. Let's get rid of the Snap. Yeah. Still seven cards in graveyard. Make five black. Blue and a red and four of these. To cast a crown. Jelly hits you with crown for four. Jed hits you for two with Tim. I will gain two, lose two. I will not gain anything. Draw two. Yeah, I will just pass. Uh, I'll keep draw. Play this mana vault. I guess go to combat and hit death for five. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. Draw. <laughs> That's really funny. Tap these two crew. Make two treasures. Go to seven, and I will tap three for a dock side. So I'm gonna. Sack. Yep. All right. I'm gonna sack five to activate Magda's ability. We'll get a universal automaton. Yep. I'll sack five more. Get a clock of omens. I'll tap the automaton and the treasure. Yeah. Which will trigger Magda. To give me so another treasure. In response to the Magda trigger, yep. I'm gonna pay, um, float the one and crack my fiery eyeless to draw a card and hopefully draw something. Uh, yeah, that won't do anything. All right. So then we'll untap, then do this process of yep. making the tap treasures to make a new treasure to untap. So we'll have infinite tap treasures from there. Go get my memory jar. I'm gonna get out a mask wood nexus. Yep. We'll make everything a dwarf dragon, a, a dwarf everything. or a dragon, and then with the dragon, I will go and I'll get Zorn. I'll also create untapped treasures, so I'll have infinite tap, infinite untapped treasures. Yeah. Grinding station out. And then I can mill you all out with the grinding station, and then member jar one time, and everybody's everybody's out. Yeah. Well, GG on Magda. Good game, mate.